Hello, happy Arvo. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm gonna learn about a little place called Brisbane, or Brisbane. Brisbane. You know, I wanna know more. It's that simple. I know it's like a gigantic city in Australia. Might be the biggest. That's a fact I just completely made up. It might, but it might be. <laughs> might not be. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to try out, you know, Expedia. So this is going to be, you know, this is a legit travel guide of Brisbane. So I have high expectations out of this. Take me through it. It's only four minutes, 30 seconds. I wish it was longer, but I do expect some quality. And hopefully an Australian speaker, please. The capital of the state of Queensland, Brisbane, is located in... So it's the capital of the state of, of Queensland. I didn't realize the states had capitals. <laughs> That's complete, you know. You have to be willing to admit things that are probably really obvious. If you're going to be like, if you're going to have <laughs> my job on this channel is basically to admit how stupid I am. I didn't know the states had capitals but that makes sense. Isn't this kind of near, where's Canberra? You know, the capital of Australia, where is that in relation to the capital, you know, to Brisbane? That's what I, that's the question on my mind because it, it feels kind of close. Why does this, why does this not even look like Australia? Okay, there we go. Um, Okay, no, no, no. We're in a whole different state. You know, we're in New South Wales. Got it. So is Canberra the capital of New South Wales? Or is Canberra, is there another, is like Melbourne the capital? I could Google that, but I'm, I'm already too distracted. Okay, fine, I'm Googling it. What's the cap, uh, what's the capital of New South Wales? Sydney. Sydney. So when I said Sydney was a capital, I wasn't wrong. I said that like months ago. I thought Sydney was the capital. Well, it is of New South Wales. Inland from Moreton Bay, between the Sunshine Coast and the Gold Coast, the heart of the hilly city is its river, which snakes from Mount Stanley to the Coral Sea. Hopefully it doesn't look like this in real life. That's what, that's what the Ohio River, you know, I'm, I'm pretty close to the Ohio River. It looks like this. So if it does, no judgment, but I am hoping it's, it doesn't actually look like that. It's gigantic. Like this is, oh my, look at the, look at the architecture here. This city is huge. Queensland is Australia's sunshine state and enjoys a subtropical. That is so cool. Like, Australia is seriously so cool. Look at this. This looks like a magical... How many people have been proposed to? I bet 35 people watching this have been proposed to walking down this here beautiful little uh, uh, tunnel of flowers. Climate with hot, humid summers and warm, sunny winters. In Brisbane, any time of year is a good time for adventurous outdoor activities. That looked like... In Brisbane... Out of all the beaches I've seen on Australia, this looks like the the most tame. Very tame. Is this like not actually, is this um, a, like a gulf beach or something? Or is this even the ocean? Any time of year is a good time for adventurous outdoor activities. Okay, I'm not going to lie. The river does kind of look like the Ohio River. I, I keep it real. That's just what it is. It does kind of look, you know, it looks similar to the Ohio River. Along the river or coast. Experience the more relaxed. Now the water and the beach is beautiful. Inside of Brisbane, in the parklands, museums and bars. Brizzy still has the laid back country feel that is so iconic for the land down under. However, it's Australia's. One of you guys sent me a picture. You were like, yeah, I took a picture of my outdoor, like this just out my back window and it was, it looked just like this. It's crazy. 
fruit feel that is so iconic for the and you sent it to me in an email I, I'm, I'm just saying I, I don't know if that made any sense but yeah someone emailed me that photo land down under however it's Australia's third hungry jacks is that it looks like the Burger King logo I know I've largest city houses over two million people and is growing fast start your tour of the city on Brisbane's look how big the city is biggest hill I feel like I keep saying that and someone's gonna be like uh <laughs> Brisbane is the smallest city <laughs> no it can't be this is huge Mount Kutha was already visited by the Aboriginal people up to 40,000 years ago and its name means honey which they found here oh. in abundance while you're here, explore the wonders of the Southern Hemisphere in the Planetarium and Brisbane Botanical Gardens, including the Laughing Kookaburra. <laughs> oh, <like> the <laughs> Laughing Kookaburra. Kookaburra sit in the old palm tree. I didn't know they laugh. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Feed lorikeets and see iconic Australian wildlife at the nearby Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Meet kangaroos, koalas and wombats. And don't miss... You can meet a wombat in real life. It's like a little furry pig. It's the animal shows, which demonstrate some real Aussie traditions. Down river, in the central business district, the Queen Street Mall displays all the country's big retail brands. Visit the nearby Brisbane Museum to learn about the mining boom and other events that shape this city. There's so much mining going on in Australia. Hey, good for you. If you got it, this is what I always say. If you got it, mine it. If you got it, mine it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys found that radioactive capsule, but we already talked about that yesterday. The mining just made me think about that. Exhibits show how World Expo 88 led to the transformation of the river's... Oh my gosh, it's so Owen cool. Bank, the city's favourite backyard, which... It all looks so modern, so new. ...even has its own beach. Spacious South Bank has many free activities and facilities which attract more than 10 million people every year. Cool off in a lagoon or browse... A freaking lagoon. Look at this. ...the weekend markets. Join the locals for a beer or... Do, does Australia have palm trees? More stupid questions coming from me, but are these just like imported or... I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a palm tree down there in other videos go off in a lagoon or browse the weekend markets join the locals for a beer or visit one of the many prominent museums and theaters the wheel of brisbane overlooks the cultural forecourt a collection of queensland's major museums and theaters i don't know why when he said the wheel of brisbane i thought he was going to say the wheel of death because it looks very scary the wheel of death it's so so dumb but that's just it made me chuckle so i had to say it meet some prehistoric creatures admire indigenous and european modern art or see a show at the performing arts center from the piers at south bank take the public ferry downstream to new farm park where the restored powerhouse has become a real institution among art and music lovers that was a cool building on your way back it was like half old industrial and transitioned into being new hop off at kangaroo point to climb the story bridge one of the best spots to watch the sunset over the city oh that's awesome holy sh that's terrifying oh my gosh like i've always dreamed about climbing up the side of a bridge like that but you're actually allowed to here you guys are awesome Book your guided tour for mid-afternoon because nightfall comes early in Queensland. Okay, they're strapped on. That's good. Look at that building. Do you have to call everybody? You're like, hey, turn your light on. We're making the squiggly pattern tonight. Your room, room 3032. Yep, you got to turn your light on. 3033, turn your light off. Look at this. It really adds to the skyline. Get an early start and jump on the ferry to Morton Island for a fun day out at the beach. Join a Segway tour along the shore before surfing down a massive sand dune. I've never actually been on a Segway. For some reason, they were super big. 
I think that the um, what do the, what do the kids call them? Hoverboards. They're basically little segways with no handle that kids float around on, mostly. I think those kind of killed the segway. On a hot but they they look like a lot of fun. Hey. Now, what, what was what, what's going on here? People Join are sliding down the sand along the shore before surfing down a massive sand dune. Finally, people actually sand surfing in real life. You see this on every reality TV show. Oh, we're going sand surfing. But they're always going literally like two feet down one little dune. This is actually a giant sand hill. On a hot day, snorkel around the Tangaluma Rex. Or if you'd rather stay... Oh, that's so cool. ...high and dry, book a helicopter ride instead. Flying over the bay and the Coral Sea. It's clear that Queensland's natural beauty merely starts in Brisbane. Two hours flight to the north, the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, we're getting a little bit out of Brisbane, but we're close. Is a living national treasure. Brisbane has a wealth of attractions, and you can indulge as much as you like. But in the river city of the north, you're never far from nature, which is free for all to enjoy. I have to hand it to you, Expedia. <laughs> that was a good video. Brisbane, Brisbane looks incredible. I've watched this video thousands of times before coming to Brisbane. Now, after a year and a half living here, I've been to all the places mentioned in the video and can recognize all the all the scenes. Why can't I talk? I'm so glad I made this journey here. Brisbane, best city ever. Wow, that that was really incredible. That does look like a gem. I want to visit that shipwreck. Oh, well, that was fun. Uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I hope I'm not there alone. I'm going to be doing, you know, a This Week in Australia video. So, you know, subscribe if you want to. Either way, thank you for watching. Thank you to Expedia for this fantastic video. And goodbye.